I've never ever ever been into G-Shock watches. I've always discarded them as uh, toy watches, watches for those who were really in deep trouble with their self-esteem. And then I found this. But before talking about my brand new G-Shock, um, let me remind you to put a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon to stay up to date to, for my latest releases. Quick wristwatch check today, I'm wearing my Omega Speedmaster from 1992, soon to be reviewed on this channel, but if you want to have a quick glance at this beauty, uh, you can always take a look at my uh, nine watch collection uh, video that I made a couple of uh, weeks ago and I put the link up here. So this week into the limelight uh, we have my brand new Casio G-Shock reference number DV5610SU8. So I bought this watch um, during my last trip to Tokyo, Japan. Uh, it had just been released by G-Shock, by Casio, uh, reached the European and American market uh, about a month ago, I think. As I already said, I've never been into G-Shock watches. They, they were just too loud for my style. Uh, but this one here, uh, kind of all black grey, two-tone black grey, just spoke to my heart. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. First, nowadays, also, I'm taking watches in a less serious way, the way everything should be taken, which is fun, F-U-N. Everyone needs joy in his or her life. So just enjoy and love whatever strikes you, from a 15 euros Casio to my Rolex Explorer. Now this particular model is from the brand new capsule collection, one of those many capsule collections, or limited editions, capsule collection from uh, uh, Casio, from G-Shock, the sub-brand of Casio. Uh, they have their own website, of course, and uh, it's basically it's a brand within a brand, a bigger brand of Casio. But anyway, they have so many models, hundreds of them, uh, so many colorways, it's just, it just speaks out loud fun, as I've said before. So this one in particular is ca capsule collection, uh, strict utility, utility military, something like that? Yes, it's called strict utility, utility military. And uh, I, I loved also the other version, uh, the, the green military green version, but this one is closer to my style, to my look. Um, just grey and black, so this one was the one. In the beginning of the 80s, Mr. Kiku Ibe designed the first Casio watch according to the triple tank concept. Waterproof to 10 bar, drop proof to 10 meters, and a battery life of 10 years. This watch, G-Shock DW5000C, became an icon in its own right. When ibe san tested almost 200 uh, Casio new G-Shock prototypes, he dropped the watches out of the third floor windows of his office building. He then saw a kid bouncing a ball and then he decided that the watch's movement, the G-Shock module, had to be suspended in a rubber casing, thus managing to absorb nearly any impact or shock. There is in fact a hollow structure inside each G-Shock where its movement, its module, floats to protect itself. And these things you see on the side of every G-Shock absorb direct shocks from many direction. What's important about this watch? It reminds us all that we are all watch lovers. Uh, no matter if you have a Rolex, a Patek Philippe or an Omega Speedmaster, whatever you have, a Casio G-Shock just reminds you how fun it is to have a watch as simple as this one, even with a, I'd say, affordable price tag, like less than 100 bucks. 
40 years of history, it's part of the horological story. No wonder that the G-Shock is mentioned as one of the 50 watches that changed the world in the famous book. And let's be serious for a moment. It's effing cool! Especially in these super modern and stealthy colorways. Nowadays, it's not only a super durable watch, but also an object of fashion and pure design, as well as a statement. And you don't have to babysit it. You wear it through the worst conditions and that's it. It has got a 200 meter water resistance and you can jump down 10 store. Well, okay, don't, don't, baby, just don't. And they are collectible because they have so many special models, limited editions, capsule collections. The only issue here is just once you buy one, you just cannot limit yourself of just having one. For example, now I'm really lusting for the octagonal case one, the, the Royal Oak-esque Kajok, Kaziok, I don't know, but uh, you have the idea. Just look at the pictures. Effing cool that one as well. And super thin as well, it's uh, only 11 millimeters. The strap is also really comfortable and the wrist is not that loud and big. It's not that you can wear it at your wedding or in the boardroom, but still serves so many occasions and so many streetwear attires. The real thing about the G-Shock watches is that they somehow they stayed true to their name. They're still durable, they're still super resistant and they are still big and, and heavy. No, maybe not heavy, but they are still, you know, they have a lot of presence on the wrist. Although they also become on the other side kind of I don't want to mention fashion watches because it's not a fashion watch, but still it's a, it's an object of design, of modern design, of the modern era, of our era, of the past 40 years. Um, and again, still stay true to it's a first thing that was to be durable and resistant and also affordable very affordable. Oh, what do you think about G-Shock watches and this one in particular? Do you like them? Or just like me, you didn't like them before and then you, you came to knowledge that you need one just like me? Let me know your thoughts and comments down here below and again please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to my channel, hit the bell icon again and uh, that's it for all this time around. It's a wrap and it's uh, arrivederci al prossima. See you next time. Ciao.